Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another video. All right, y'all, back with some more fight announcement news. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if this fight gets made, though, right? We'll see. Well, we'll see if it actually takes place because it is official. It is official for UFC 272, March 5th. Another flyweight fight. Another good, you know, battle of the unranks here. Uh, Maria Agapova versus Marina Moreau. Now, I do like this matchup. I like it, but you know how you know how it is with Marina Moreau. Her pullout game is strong, so. We'll see, you know, we'll see if this fight gets made. Uh, I actually was going to do a video about this a while back because Maria Agapova was already asking about this fight right after her, uh, right after the, her last fight against Sabina Mazo. She already wanted this fight. You know, she had a good choice of words for Marina Moreau, which I'll get into here in a minute. So, you know, I was already going to, you know, do a video. I actually did a video. I recorded one, but I just, you know, I think I deleted it because I was like, ah, the fight might not happen anyway. But yeah, I want to talk about it again because, you know, I just want to, you know, talk about the beef between these two and, um, just the potential this fight has to be like a real grudge match, which it is. You know, um, it's going down, like I said, UFC 272, uh, March 5th. As y'all know, Maria Agapova, her last fight was uh, a, a third round submission win over Sabina Mazo. Uh, very good fight, you know, very good performance, very good return for her after the uh, uh, stoppage loss to Shannon Dobson like over a year ago. You know, um, you know, during that time, she just had like a rough road, you know, dealing with a lot of a lot of things, you know, just dealing with a lot of different things. And um she really needed to get her focus back and that win over Sabina Mazo it was solid you know that was a confidence builder for her, you know but uh right after that fight right after that fight she already had somebody in in particular she wanted to call out and that's Marina Moreau and um you know it all goes back to some um drama going on in the gym you know Marina Moreau uh you know she pretty much spilled the beans about Agapova and all her drama that was going on you know um I guess relationships drugs and you know, just a lot of just a lot of things going on there. And uh, Maria Agapova, she had actually addressed it. You know, let me pull up this interview. She said, well, this is what she said. First off, she just said she's just jealous. And second, she's sneaky. She said she tried to destroy my career. I lost sponsorships because of her interview and I got in big tr in a big trouble situation. I would like to punish this B because she tried to destroy my career. I want to smash her. So um, she's referring to a while back. Uh, Marina Moreau before um, Agapova re returned to the octagon Marina Moreau she uh, did an interview and she just kind of broke it down like because you know they both train at a ATT and uh, Marina Moreau she just kind of broke it down on different things about what she's seen from Agapova you know her showing up to the gym late her showing up with a knife and you know different rumors like that and um, her being on um, you know just drugs and just just coming in there starting a lot of trouble with other fighters there you know so whenever she put that interview out you know, Gapova started losing a lot of uh, her sponsors. You know, she started losing a lot of promotion and that was helping build her up as a fighter. So she started dealing with that. And, you know, that kind of put Gapova, you know, out of uh, focus again. But, you know, she bounced back, came back with the win over Sabina Mazo. And now she wants to get revenge. You know, she wants to get revenge and, you know, put a put an end to this uh, beef between her. Well, I don't know if it's going to put an end between her and Marina Moreau, but, you know, um, it's definitely going to solve some of their issues, right? That's the best way to do it. I'm tired of hearing the talk, the tweets. Let's make this fight happen. But I'm not really keeping my hopes up for the match. Like, I'm not really hype. I just like the potential matchup that could happen here. But I'm not really hype on this thing really, really happening until the cage closes and Herb Dean or Herzog or whoever actually asks these fighters, oh, you ready? You ready? Let's fight. That That's when I get hyped for the fight. Whenever there I go, then I'm ready. But um, anyways, uh, yeah, I like this matchup. You know, I do like this fight. You know, I think it's going to turn out to be a good stand-up fight. You know, you got the tall, long, lanky fighter that has power in both hands and her kicks. Very, very tricky striker, very dangerous striker. And Sabina, uh, not Sabina Mazo, but Agapova. You know, uh, Agapova, I think she's a very good finisher. You know, she has power in her hands. And if she gets you down, you know, she's quick to submit you as well. So she has a bit of a, you know, ground game, submission game. And, you know, a solid stand-up game. Then you have a fighter like Marina Moreau, who's a very, very solid boxer, you know, top-class boxer. And she has a good wrestling game. You know, she has that gap. Uh, you know, she she bridged that gap with the wrestling. So when she closes the distance, you know, she's very good at fighting on the inside. And she can also take you down and submit you as well. So very, very, very interesting matchup. The one thing that we continue to talk about with Marina Moreau, though, is the fact, the question Will she show up for the fight? Will she show up? Because I talked about this in a live stream the other day. You know, I had to go through and count how many cancellations she's had. And she's had like over 10 cancellations. And over the um, past few months or past year, it was like four, four um, in one year. 
you know, um, her last fight, Marina Moreau, her last fight was a, a unanimous decision win over uh, Myra Buena Silva. Yeah, Myra Buena Silva back in March 2020. You know, that was her last fight. So she's going on two years since being out of the octagon. You know, when she goes into the octagon against um, uh, against Agapa, but she'll be just short, like, you know, maybe like short uh, two years by a few days. Right. So, you know, she's been out for a minute, you know, because let's see, she's canceled about 10 fights here. That includes that includes a fight with Manon Firo, Taylor Santos, Montana De La Rosa, Luana Carolina and so on. So, yeah, she's had a lot of cancellations. So you have to really wonder where her mind's at right now. You know, you got to wonder if it is injuries or if it's just like mental focus. Does she have other things going on? Like, because if it's like injuries, I mean, they might, they would have to cut her by then. Right. Because I mean, you cancel 10 times. The UFC has a, usually has a low tolerance rate for some of these ladies, but they've been putting up with her. So maybe she has some medical issues. I don't know, but, uh, we'll see. Um, but that's really the big question about Marina Monroe. Will she show up and will she be rusty? Because, other than that, if you put those two things aside, I have to say that Marina Moreau, she definitely has a big chance in this fight. You know, I'm not going to lie. She has a big chance because everybody's been seeing um, a gop of her last performance against Sabina Mazo. They're already like, oh, this girl's got it. She's going to knock whoever out. Oh, man, like Marina Moreau is in for it if they take on this fight. Well, not necessarily because if you go back and look at a lot of Marina Moreau's fights, you know, she's um, she's fought some top level competition. And she's never really, she's never really looked bad. You know, she's never really looked bad in any of her fights. And you got to remember, she beat a big, dangerous flyweight in Myra Buena Silva. You know, she took her apart in that fight. You know, she fought, she fought a very solid fight, very educated fight. So she has an underrated IQ going into this fight. I think Marina Moreau definitely has the boxing and she definitely has the um, ability to cut off the octagon. Unlike Sabina Mazo, she's faster than Sabina Mazo. And um, like I said, she can close that distance and use her wrestling on a fighter like uh, Agapova, who's still kind of questionable in some of her jujitsu to me. You know, yes, she can get you down and submit you, but that's after, like, landing some good shots and going in for the kill. But overall, like, just as far as grappling, I think Marina Moreau, just early on and looking at it, uh, I would have to favor her. You know, so um, I think the fight's going to be a little bit more competitive than people think. And I do think that Marina Moreau has a chance if she shows up. But the other question is, will Agapova be focused in this fight? Will she be focused or is she going to go in there and fight off emotion? Will this be like another Shannon Dobson fight where she wants to go in there and take it, take it to Marina Moreau in the form of a street fight? You know what I mean? Because everything that was said out of the octagon, you know, about her in the gym, you know, that kind of sets you off in a, in a way because she's already talking like, hey, you know, she's jealous of me. She's a sneaky bee. You know, I want to go in there and beat her. I want to punish her. So she might go in there and fight off emotion. You know, but if she doesn't, if she if she keeps it cool and just goes in there, you know, fighting off of uh, her technique, using her skill and, you know, wanting to punish her in that fashion, then, yeah, it'll be a competitive fight. But if she goes in there fighting off of emotion, you know, she'll definitely lose her focus. And you can see the Shanna Dobson fight all over again. Like, I don't know if she'll go in that wild and just blow her load all in, you know, one round. But I could see her, you know, trying to swing for the fence or having that Lamos mind frame of just wanting to go for the knockout, you know, like. She could go in there a little bit more patient than the Shanna Dobson fight, but if she could continue to just look for the knockout, then you could see her lose. You know, you could just see her pretty much throw away the fight, right? Because, um, like I said, Marina Moreau, I think she's a very good counterpuncher, and her hand speed is solid. You know, she puts together good combinations. You go back and look at Myra Buena Silva fight, and some of just just a lot of her fights, even at 115. You know, she's very solid. You know, very solid even on the inside. Like I said, with her, her wrestling, you know, very very strong very strong. So yeah, man, like I said, I don't want to get my hopes up. I'm not really going to do a prediction yet on this one. Maybe I will, you know, whenever, um, we get closer to the fight, maybe like March 4th, or maybe like, uh, as they walk to the octagon, I'll do the prediction then, <laughs> you know, that's, that's how, that's how much faith I have Marina Moreau as far as showing up right now. But overall, I like the matchup. I just hope it happens because I think this fight will not go the distance. I think it's going to be explosive. So Fingers crossed, man. Let's let's make sure this thing happens. Come on. Come on, Marina Moreau. You know, get your head in the game. Let's make this fight happen. Guys, let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Who do you think is going to win this fight? Answer those questions for me. Who, who do you got? Agapova, Marina Moreau. Uh, do you think that Marina Moreau uh, will be able to use, use her experience and IQ in this fight? Or do you think Agapova will go in there, shut it down, and, you know, uh, get revenge for those words said? Or do you think she'll fight off emotion? Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.